Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you um, how to, so for example, if you, if you have a family uh, amassing or a, a pattern-based family like this, and you want to ca uh, count the number of these families or for this different length, uh, how to use the share parameter to do it. Okay, so let's do it. So I'll just start from scratch. So first, let's create a pattern-based family. So let's create a um, curtain panel pattern-based. Just uh, Let's just use this one. So first, just choose a pattern um, you, you want to use. So um, maybe I'll use this one. Okay, so and then uh, you decide what that shape of uh, that. So for example, if that if you wanted to create the the, the one I showed you uh, previously, you can do this: create a spline, and then you can place a point in the middle, and then you and draw a shape on this point. So reference uh, profile so let's do a circle draw on work plan set work plan and pick the horizontal work plan and do a so for example uh, that's just 300 okay sorry 300 and a create form and click on this and then you can create a parameter so so let's just select this form and create a parameter for it so let's call it um, maybe call it uh, length okay so l and also instance and okay and okay and now we can change the size uh, the length so for for example i'll just change it to three meter okay so now this is it and then we can create a, a mass so conceptual mass and go to floor plan so i'm going to just draw a very simple uh, draw three reference line spline through points one two three one two three one two three and create a form and go to 3d view and we can just adjust the points to create a, a shape okay so for example just uh, like this and then select this face and divide the surface so now you can go back to here load into this mass and select this divided surface and change this to this okay so it looks like it's uh, going the wrong direction but that's okay so you can select this uh, divided surface and then check the component flip okay so now it's a uh, it's correct direction so okay so the next step is uh, um, let's just quickly do a dynamo so randomize this length so you can also manually tab select each one so for example i'll change this to five meter i'll change this to uh, nine meter but it take it, it will take time so you can quickly do this so go to dynamo create a new revit selection family type or element of family type find that family link and right click set parameter okay link par parameter name will be l double click quote capital l and value so um, i'll do this so double click uh, we'll start from maybe 3 meter, finish at 9 meter, and every uh, 100 
So we, we want to cover the number of the, so currently we have 50. So if you move your cursor here, you will see that's 50 in this list. Okay, so we just need to have enough, maybe slightly more. So for example, we have 61, should be, should be enough. So link this to there, and that's it. So now you will see all this, or oh, actually, so you will see, um, because we didn't uh, randomize this list, so it, it starts from three meters, it looks like three meters at this corner, and then and then become uh, longer here. So you can do this, so right click, and use shuffle. Okay, so li link this, link this. So now you will see it become randomized. And you can always change the number here. So for example, um, six meter, oops, sorry, wrong one, and every 50. So you keep the number of the list, but you reduce the difference, okay? So of course, uh, I, I didn't, you know, uh, use a large number for these grids because I tried to reduce the, the time, uh, a waiting waiting time. Okay, so uh, when you do this, you can increase the number or you can just use different size of this. So it's all up to. You. Okay, so now let's just minimize this uh, Dynamo window, and now the next step is uh, I want to know how many so for example the for each length of so uh so for example this is 5.7 meter so for each length how many uh are we going to have so uh we will need a schedule for for these uh, families but currently we are in um conceptual mass there's no schedule we can use so we need to create a new project and load this into the project and place it and and okay so now this is a a, a mass in a project and then we can so if you tab select one of this family you will see this is the category of this individual family so which means we can create a curtain panel schedule for for uh for the for the numbers for to count these numbers so now go to view schedule and create a curtain so curtain panel here so click OK, and so uh, you won't be able to find the L parameter. So because it's not a shared parameter. So but for now we let's just um, add this family. So which will be the name of this family? Okay. So click OK. Okay. So at least we have all these. Uh, family so we can we can do a count if, if, if we want to but the most important part is the length so we need to go back to so select one of the family and edit so go back to so this and then we need to go to family types select this parameter edit so now, so you will see currently it's a family parameter. So we need to go to uh, change this to a shared parameter. So check this and select. And we need to, uh, uh, looks like previously we add, uh, I, uh, if you haven't you, uh, used shared parameter so you can just have a search in my uh, channel so there is some um, videos talking about shared parameter so basically you can just start uh, you can just do it uh, just follow me so create here you can just go edit okay so now you can if you haven't already set 
a shared parameter file, you can do it by click create. Okay, so create one. If you already have one, you can follow this. So you can go, uh, you can either create a new group or you can just add a parameter in current group. So here I'm going to add, create, a, let's create a new group. Okay, so group, yeah, so new. I'll just name it today's date. Okay, so now we have a new group. There's nothing here. Create a new parameter. Let's call it L to match that one. Oops. Okay, so length. Okay. A parameter. Okay, it's already there. So it's in other. That's fine. It looks like we can't use L anymore because it's already in one of... Uh, my other group so that's fine let's call it l1 and okay and okay and okay and yep that's l1 share the parameter good and okay and okay so now we can load this into here into this mass okay so load this into the mass family override and you will notice that all the length, all the lengths will go back to the original three meter. So that's fine because we still have this dynamo here. So we just need to, um, maybe I'll change this to menu and click on run. Uh, hang on something. Oh, because we changed, we changed the, the parameter name. Change type, it, uh, change it to L1 one wrong that's it so now it, it go back to random length okay so now let's minimize this load this into the project and now click ok over right um yes please usually when <laughs> um yeah probably i need to uh, do a video about all those uh, options for override but usually I will always if I don't have time to read them I always pick the first one top one <laughs> go to 3d view so now we have this okay so now we can go back to the shed schedule we just did so this one double click and edit so now you should be able to see this L1 here. So just add this into the schedule. Click OK. And then we have the length. You can also, I think you can, uh, looks like you can't change it here. But that's fine. At least we can see this. Now we can go sort, sorting, a grouping, and change this to L1. And then um, uncheck the itemize this and add a footer so we want to count okay so count the number so click ok so um okay so i think i know what's happening because we have each each uh family it's a uh, different height because um I don't think this is a good idea because in reality you don't want to have all these different. Are uh, you trying to use same uh, this same length for as many as possible? So, um, so let's do this. Let's go back to the mass, okay? And also let's bring out the dynamo. So we we don't want to have. 61 different size maybe we can have um five different size okay so let's change this to i'll i'll, I'll, I'll break this one first i'll change this to 500 and i'll run it and check see how many do we have we have seven different size okay i think that's uh, acceptable or even i can change this to six so we have six different size. Yeah, that's better. So three meter, 3.6, 3, 4.2. Good. Now 
we can we just need to uh, multiply okay so currently we need 50 at least 50 okay so maybe I'll just time 10 so right click cycle and list and out so double click and type in 10 amount and if I run it becomes uh, a list with 60 number and then shuffle and go back feed, uh, go back to this so if I click run now that's it so uh, now there are only six different size okay so let's minimize this again load this into the project and overwrite and then let's have a look in the schedule yeah that's much better so we can see the three meter we have seven nine of the 3.6 4.2 we have 10 4.8 8 8 of the 5.4 and 8 of the 6 meters so I think that's that's good and of course this is a, a I reduce the number so my computer can handle it so if you increase the grid, grid number so for if you have hundreds hundreds thousands even thousands of them it will take a while okay so to every time you do either do a uh, dynamo uh, to change the size or you load into the project it will take uh, sometimes five minutes okay so that's it for today uh, if you have any question please let me know i'll see you next time thank you bye